This is an update look of how it looked since I painted it the wear on it. Uh, you could get all of these at your local uh, AutoZone, except for the aircraft paint remover. Your AutoZone may have it, but mine didn't. I had to get it from a local paint shop. So uh, all you'll need is um, an adhesive, your base coat, your color coat, and a gloss clear finish. Make sure you get the you know, heat resistant coating. These are the ones I use. And we're going with the blue this time. One of my subscribers, Kings and Queens Turban, I believe the name is, asked me to do blue on the next one. So this is what we're going with. Also for the other uh, things you're gonna need is some masking tape and uh, an exacto knife. We're cutting the tape, you know, making sure everything's straight. This is what we're gonna be using to take off the paint today. Aircraft paint removal. I got this spread. Thing. I sprayed on uh, the aircraft paint remover. Got at least eight more minutes. It says 15 minutes to leave on application. So we'll get back to that later. This is it. After I put the Got all the paint off it with the aircraft paint remover. Back to the original state. Looks pretty clean. Now it's time to get that blue on there. Yeah, let's get it. 91%. Alcohol, get most of the dirt and stuff off of here. I'm gonna use a little microfiber towel. Let's get to going. Make sure you clean it real good. Got it all taped up. I uh, advise you to clean it back off with a little alcohol before you get to spraying. Uh, your first coat of adhesive. Want to start with three layers of adhesive. Then your uh, base coat. Then your color coat. And then uh, your uh, gloss finish, clear finish. And it's gonna be three layers of each. Let's get it. Then 
white passes. Make sure you get in there. And I got a cardboard. That way if I want to turn it, I can. But I got enough space to walk around this, uh, this thing I got it sitting on. I'm good. Let that sit for about five minutes per coat until you get um to your color coat. You're gonna let those the base and color coat you're gonna let those sit for at least ten minutes a piece. And uh you want something to sit over it to cover it up so nothing won't fall on it if you're doing it outdoors. So I'm using a strainer because it lets air through and it dries faster. Gonna put on our uh, first coat of um, our base coat. Keep a little distance too. First coat, second coat. You don't want your uh, paint to be dripping off, so be uh, minded to that. Three coats of each. After this coat, I'm gonna just skip to the uh, finishing product because you get the picture. Three coats of each. Got the final coat of blue on there. Let that sit for the clear coat. Let the last coat sit at least 10 to 15 minutes. Then we're gonna do the clear coat. I'm gonna show you the finished uh, product. That's the finished product. I think I did a way better job than last time. Still not perfect. It's better than last time. Actually, let it sit for two days without touching it. I advise you guys to do that. Just let it sit for two days in a safe location. And don't touch it. Before you pick it up. like what you see please uh leave a like and a comment down below if you guys need me to do anything else or want me want to see me do anything else uh just let me know down in the comments and uh i'll see you guys soon